Tonight, continuing coverage of a deadly pursuit from earlier in the week, an accused escapee back behind bars tonight. And that is exactly where we begin. We pick up after our coverage that began Thursday morning. New tonight, suspect Donald Morgan is in state police custody after being found in Cumberland Friday night. Two Rhode Islanders also facing charges. The search for Morgan prompted a highway chase with another man who police shot and killed. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halpern has been tracking the details of this deadly pursuit. Joins us now from Situa with the very latest. Eric. Jared, state police tell us that no one was injured during the arrest of Morgan, including Morgan, but that there was a, quote, physical altercation and that a taser needed to be used. After being on the run for almost 36 hours, 35-year-old Donald Morgan is now in police custody. A taser was used, um, and there was physical and a, a physical altercation, the extent of it, it's still under investigation, but he was cleared at the hospital with, with no glaring injuries other than the injuries that he sustained from his accident when he stole the car the first night. State police explaining how he was captured about a day and a half after they say he drove off with a state police cruiser. On Thursday, he was being transported to court for previous charges of possession of a stolen vehicle and obstructing an officer stemming from an accident Wednesday he was already bruised up from. Then Thursday, state police say he got loose while the trooper transporting him got out to help with another accident. During that time, the suspect was in the rear seat. He somehow got out of the rear seat into the front of the cruiser while he was cuffed and stole that cruiser. Colonel Asampico says Morgan was handcuffed in the front and that it's up to the discretion of officers how to cuff suspects depending on possible injuries. Morgan was arrested at this Cumberland house on Vermont Ave around 7 on Friday night. Somebody that's desperate like that, you just don't know what they would do. Amanda Crawley lives right across the street from where the arrest took place. Two additional people were there. Daniel Medeiros and Rachel Reed were also arrested, now being charged with harboring a criminal. It is really a scary thing to think somebody like that would just actually be on this street. There's kids all over the place. And Morgan was already facing charges from Wednesday's incident. Now with everything related to the stolen vehicle and last night's arrest, he's facing six additional charges. Another thing we learned from state police today is that their cruisers do not have dividers in them. That's now something they're reviewing moving forward. Live in Situate, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.